refashioning. I'll be chopping off the ends of the sleeve because I love this gorgeous detail here and I'll be adding that to the shoulder. It does seem like a pretty simple project but I think it will be a little bit challenging especially adding the section from the sleeve to the shoulder but let's see how it goes. Let's get started. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. So what I want to do is to chop this section off. Now I do have some fabric here. It, these were a pair of pants that I shortened. So I'm going to be using this to add the length back into the sleeve. I've got two, but I'll only, I'll only need one because it's a narrow air, area. So I need to find out where I'm going to be cutting. So I don't want to cut across there because there's, there's a, like a vent here. So I want to come just above that. So I'm going to come about here. And I'm going to repeat that onto the other side. But before I cut, I'm just going to let me just show you the line. I'm just going to release the lining from the jacket. And the lining is now released from the sleeve. And just chop that up as far as I possibly can in the sleeve. Just don't want to cut into that. And I've got my marker for where I'm going to cut. Now, with tailor sleeves or two-piece sleeve, it's not necessarily even at the hem of the sleeve. Um, so do bear that in mind, particularly if you're working with a jacket that is well tailored, because it's more noticeable in well tailored jackets rather than you know the high high street jackets. So that is where my marker is. And if I come here, you can see the difference. It's only slight, but there is a difference. So I'm going to do mine this way. And because what I'm adding to it is is the bottom of a pair of pants, it really won't make that difference. Um, but I just thought I'd share that with you. Right. Doesn't make that much difference here. Actually, what I need to do is check. I haven't checked to see whether this is. Yeah, it's a good idea to check. Um, yeah, there's enough there. Seam allowance. Yeah, that's okay. With whatever you've got left, and you can always use this on 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 use the end as a pattern or template for whatever fabric you're going to put on the end. That's fine. And I'm just ready to cut. Yeah, my lining is out of the way, isn't it? Yes. So it's best to double, double check. <laughs> double check. Yes, it is. Nice and flat. Get my scissors. And cut. And just repeat on the other side. I put my jacket to one side and I'm just going to focus on the fabric that I'll be adding to the end of this sleeve. Um, let me see. Let me just turn it on the wrong side. So you've already got a hem, which is excellent. So the lining will be attached to this area here. Well, that's quite a narrow seam allowance there. Let me see this side. Yeah, that's a bit better. It's going to be the back of the leg 
this section, that's the front. You always get the back where you've got a lot more fabric than the front, so that's brilliant. So yes, have a wide seam allowance to play with. Okay, so that means I'm going to be using the other one and then I'll just have this section and also the same on that, that I could save for another project. Here are the ends of the sleeve. So I've sewn one and it's just a straight plain seam. Yeah, excellent. That's fine. So this is what it was looking like. So what I did, I I um, unpicked a little bit of the hemline to it in order for me to be able to turn it to put it together and sew straight down. So I end up with something like this. Now I'm ready to put that onto the jacket. So if you haven't already subscribed, think about doing so. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. Not only that, I have lots of sewing techniques on my channel to help you on that journey. If you are into that sort of thing, you definitely should be thinking about subscribing. Let's get back to the video. The next step is to add these cuffs, I'm going to refer to them as. So turn it to the, that's the right side, turn it to the wrong side so that the right side and the wrong side are meeting up. So you funnel this into, I have to make sure that I've got the seam here matching the back seam of the jacket because this is a two-piece sleeve so this is the back seam funnel that through right side and right side place some pins all the way around and then we're ready to take it to the sewing machine and sew There we go. That's now sewn into place. And you just straighten it out like so. Oh, that's a good match. Matching up the seams. Yeah, and then just repeat it on the other side. That really looks nice. So then it's just a case of then pulling the lining down. Now I'm actually going to sew this by hand. What I'll do is then let's just turn that back, turn back the original seam within the lining, and then I'll just match it up like this, turn it back. Like that, and then I will slip stitch that into place pin and based. It's going to be nice. Okay, so the jacket is now done. Well, the sleeves are done. We need to now work on the shoulders. So it's a case of me trying this on and bringing these in. Let's see what we can do with them. I'm going to open them out. So I'm going to open this seam. So let's I'm 
that's nice. Yeah, that's really turned out well. My wings are really long. Just tuck that in there. Yeah, that's nice. So now it's just a case of then just focusing on the ends of the sleeve. So let me just show you the inside, the roll side. So we've got a neatened edge here. So the raw edge will have to go towards, I've saved enough, yeah, to turn back, okay. So I'm going to place it on the shoulder, like epaulets, like so. I've got a pocket there as well. Um, I'm just going to be looking into the mirror. I've got a full length mirror here that really does help when you are refreshing. Oh, that's, oh, that's quite nice actually. I, I don't mind if the pocket is showing, as you can see there a little bit. It's a case of then just lining up the seam on the shoulder. Bringing that back like so. I might be able to hide the pocket, but if not, then that's fine. Yeah, I think I might do actually. I'm going to bring this down just a little more because I want to see the buttons. I put them like that. You don't see the buttons as much when you see a bit more, unless a bit of a pocket or something that's happening there. Um, I don't want to see. Yeah, I think that is better. Definitely. Yeah, I like that. That's a great position actually. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Yeah. Found it, yeah. Let's see if I put it. No, because I don't have. No, I think that's better. Yeah. That's going to look gorgeous. It really is. So, this is going to be hand sewn on into position. So, what's going to happen is that I'm going to hand turn this raw edge back and press and I'm going to hand stitch it to about here. I won't hand stitch that section because it's finished off. I'm going to keep that flat. Obviously I'll tuck that inside and I won't have to sew anything here until I get to the back and then I'll just sew hand stitch on the back. That should look really nice actually. Yeah so it's a lot of hand stitching that's going on. That's nice. I like that. And with the cuffs as well. Yeah, it's worked out well. A good balance. Yeah. Really good balance. And I'll just share this with you as well that um, the jacket is slightly tight along my bust area, along the bust line. Let me just show you as I button it up. You can see these drag lines that's happening here. It shows that my, my bust area is a little bit too big for the jacket. But I can adjust that by just moving the button to here and then the button and then you go. It looks more neater. And we'll have that issue. But that's a really good, yeah, a really good look, I think. Really nice. This is the stage I'm up to now. I've hand sewn that close and the opposite side close and I've also put a little bit of interfacing on that raw edge just to stabilize it and it's ready then to be put onto the jacket so let me just place it where I put my pins like so get more pins and some thread because I'm going to base this in position because this needs to be hand sewn. Um, it, it, it will be, uh, I would say it's, it would be difficult to do it by machine because you'd be sewing through the lining and um, if you didn't 
undo the lining that is. It's possible to do it by machine, but that's if you want top stitching, edge stitching around that section as well, which I don't. So for me, the best option is for, is for me to hand sew that into place. So here we are, um, yeah, it's looking really gorgeous, it really is. I've sewn this one by hand, that is yet to be sewn into position, but it's looking really nice. Yeah, I do like that, just need to pop the lining into place, I'll just tuck those in for now, but they need to be hand sewn. Yeah, that looks... Yeah, that has worked. I do like that. I think it's a good balance. I just need to sew this. And I think putting the book, I think having the button details here just elevates it to another level, makes it look a bit different. Being saved from going into a child shop or a thrift store or a landfill and <laughs> being burnt. Um, so no, I'm happy. I'm happy the way it's turned out. I was thinking about moving the button, but I may not. It depends, because it depends on whether I actually will um, button it often. I don't know. We shall see, we shall see. But no, I'm happy with that. Just got a lot of hand sewing to do and then it will be done. Okay, that was a successful project. I enjoyed that, it really has worked. There's a good balance between the black and the rest of the jacket and with the button details as well, that just kind of um, brings it all together. So yeah, very successful project. Just means I've got a lot of hand sewing that I need to do now. So if you are making this yourself and you're not a person who likes to hand sew too much, um, it is possible to actually sew the actual linings to the, um, the cuff section, the black section of the jacket by going into the jacket. So in other words, working on the wrong side of the jacket. So it is possible to do it that way. It's going to be a little bit more challenging when it comes to sewing it by machine when it comes to this shoulder detail. Yes, it can be done. It just means you'd have to um, unpick or seam rip the bottom section perhaps of the jacket in order to access that area. It would, it would be a lot of work involved and a lot of um, movement of shoulder pads and stuff. So it, it is possible is what I'm saying it is, but it means you have to take away certain elements and certain um, details such as the shoulder pads from the um, the actual jacket in order to be able to do that if you wanted to top stitch it or edge stitch it so that is all possible but saying that it probably would take as much time um to do it to do that than it um as to do it by hand so i've chosen the option to do it by hand the one that you saw i did it took me about 30 minutes thereabouts um so it would also take the same for the other side and obviously it's going to take a bit more time of hand sewing to do the actual sleeves as well but it's worth it because it's a beautiful jacket it really has worked there's a good balance there think of um how it looked originally to how it looks now it's gorgeous it really is so gorgeous and i know i'll wear it and the little tip that i shared with you about moving the button if you are finding drag lines that's always an option just be careful if you are and that's what I need to think about. If you are moving the buttons and maybe buttonhole, um, buttonhole little markings where the button was sewn to the jacket. So you may want to bear that in mind. You may want to move it slightly away from there so the rest of the button is covering perhaps what, you know, the holes that may be in there. It really depends on the fabric as well that you're working with. Don't forget to press and 
so so that you keep the garment looking professional you know you, you've got those couture couture techniques that have been sewn after the fact um because this is this has no couture techniques in it whatsoever um so do bear that in mind just remember that pressing and then sewing and pressing and sewing still applies whether you're making a garment from scratch or you're refashioning the the shoulder detail um and i, I know i only put a strip in and um, maybe i could have interfaced the whole of that section and then sewn it onto my jacket could be an option maybe i'll probably do that next time <laughs> that was a successful project and i hope the tips and advice you really find helpful if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing it really would help my channel to grow if you have any comments or queries then please put those in the comment box below and please do share it on your social media platforms do remember to check out the description because what i do there is i put links to sewing techniques that i've used in my garment that are on my channel that will help you with your project and as always i'll see you next time thank you for watching